How's it going there everybody? My name is Zobi and today we're going to continue our coverage of Pokemon Sword and Shield by focusing on a little section of the trailer that I feel is being easily dismissed and I'm talking about when the trainer goes into what appears to be a soccer field. So the question is, what does that mean? What is, what is it really? So today I'm going to share my thoughts and I'm going to speculate on what it means for the games. To understand my argument, we need to rewind a little bit and realize what Pokemon games have always been. As you know, Pokemon games have come in many shapes and sizes and they have made appearances in many different consoles, but when it comes to the main series of games, they tend to show up in handheld consoles. And the reason for that is because the idea behind Pokemon is to be pocket monsters. I'm sure you guys know that story. So for the first time ever, we're going to have a main series game in a home console, the Nintendo Switch. So when I saw the trainer going into what appears to be a soccer field, it got me thinking right away. So if we take a look at what kind of games have shown up in the consoles, for the most part they tend to lean towards the spin-off side and some of them are more niche oriented like Pokemon Snap. But in the early days of Pokemon, their idea of a console game focused more on Pokemon battles and of course I am talking about Pokemon Stadium. Now there were only two games that were made back in the early days but since then we have not received any other Pokemon Stadium and a lot of people have been asking for this and I think that because for the first time ever we are getting a main series Pokemon game into a console they are going to integrate that and that's what it means when the trainer goes into what appears to be a soccer field. Some Pokemon fans have speculated that this is perhaps a gym battle, but I have to disagree just because if we take a look at the previous games, for the most part they tend to be theme oriented, you know, like a fire gym or a water gym or a thunder gym, whatever the case might be. But in this case we get a very generic stadium. And what that means to me is that probably this is going to be post game content. Yes, we're going to have Pokemon Stadium within Pokemon Sword and Shield. Well, at least I hope that is the case. And as a matter of fact, I hope that we do get it and we get large tournaments where you can play with your friends and probably online as well. Of course, this is all speculation, but if it does happen, I really hope they bring back the ability to rent out Pokemon. I feel this would greatly help the casual players that just want to jump in and have some fun with Pokemon battles and not getting demolished by the kid who has perfect EVs or, or IVs. So don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you believe that this is actually going to be Pokemon Stadium integrated in Pokemon Sword and Shield or it's just a gym battle? Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to be seeing you next time with more of my Pokemon videos. Peace.